Hi my friends, how's it going? I am so excited. I've been at so many seminars lately. I don't know if you've been following me at all on social media about what I've been up to, but I've been, I think, uh, 10 days of seminars over the last mm, probably three weeks. So it's been incredible. I have so much I want to share with you. And it's just a case of how can I take everything that's in my brain and try and like concentrate it into the best bits and share it with you so that you're getting value from all the things that I'm doing as well. Hello Sola, nice to see you. Hello Nick, how are you? Good to see you on here. So I really want to be able to share some of the highlights of these events I've been to. I've been to Tony Robbins, four days, Unleash the Power Within. I've been to Grace Lever, she had a two day weekend business retreat. Uh, I've done oh, so many things, Authentic Education, I've been to the Conversation Experiment with Lisa Jane, um, just so many great things and I went to a great one today as well. So I'm kind of buzzing, but I'm going to uh, just get the best of the best out to you over this series every time I jump on the Facebook Lives on a Wednesday night. So I'll always be here on a Wednesday night, you can count on that. Hello Matt, hello Joe. So I want to share with you about presenting because it's one of the most uh, the, the thing that's really helped me the most in business, I'm very passionate about helping people with their presenting skills because we all know that the online space is getting more and more crowded, right? It's getting harder and harder to stand out. It's getting harder for people to pay attention and to stop the scroll and actually get people to engage in what we're doing online. So your ability to present is directly related to your income. Your ability to uh, be confident on video, to be confident when you're speaking to people in a person. And you, you know, if you're not great with words, like with writing, then you really need to get great at speaking because there's really only two ways that we can communicate with our clients is either through writing or by speaking. And obviously there's body language and all the other things that come into it. But a lot of people tell me, I don't wanna write blogs, I don't have time to write blogs. So if you don't wanna spend all of your time writing blogs, if you're not naturally a great writer, if you haven't studied the art and the science of copywriting, which is writing to influence, writing to sell, then you really need to get good at presenting. Presenting, by presenting I mean speaking. Being able to speak on camera, being able to get up in front of a group and speak, and it's the best way to leverage your time because if you're still doing one-to-one, -one, it takes a long time, my friend. I'm sure you've realized that. You will not have the massive impact that you wanna have in the world if you keep going one by one by one by one. I realized this when I was a personal trainer in the UK. There's so many of you on here jumping on. Hello, welcome. I was working as a personal trainer in the UK and I had been to so many different conventions and conferences and seminars. And I just remember watching the speaker on stage time after time after time. And I just remember thinking, I wanna do that, but I'm scared, I don't wanna, I don't want to get up in front of all those people, I'm an introvert, I don't have the skills, I've got massive anxiety around getting up in front of people. I just remember just having all these limiting beliefs around it, all these fears around it. I was so nervous. But I got to that point where I was just fed up. And I remember watching this speaker and he was, he was not a good speaker, but he got so many people engaged. And I remember thinking, I reckon I could do a better job than him but all he's doing is he's confident and he's owning it. And so I wanna learn the craft. I, I, I wanna learn how to speak like that so that I am not just doing one by one by one. I was only doing one-on-one -on -one personal training at that stage. I'd done a little bit of group, but not to the level that I, that I wanted. And I kept falling back on one-on-one on -on -one because it's where I felt confident and comfortable. And maybe you relate, you're, you're working one-on-one -on -one with clients, but you know that your time is limited, that you wanna have more freedom, and especially if you're working you know, close with people, it can be quite draining doing long hours. And so you kind of set yourself up for a job instead of setting yourself up as a business where you can work less and make more money. So I decided that day I'm going to learn this craft no matter what it costs me, no matter how much time and money I've got to spend, how much fear I've got to overcome, I'm going to do it. And when I moved to Sydney, one of the first things I did, I didn't know anyone here, I had a couple of acquaintances, but I didn't really have uh, a network of people or friends, I didn't have any clients. One of the first things I did was go to a event, which was run by Sean Clark, and he was running an event called Six Figure Speaker Training. And I went along, it was a half day, it was $97, 
and something dropped I just thought yeah you are gonna teach me how to speak and so I signed up for his course I think it was about three thousand dollars thank you Sean shout out to you if you are ever watching this and it just helped me it changed my whole thinking around how to craft a message and it's totally changed my business so I want to share with you five ways that you can use presenting to grow your business as well and and how presenting skills will actually help you make more money it's not just people paying you to speak it's actually the skill set that you learn and the mindset that you learn will help you make a lot more money and help you impact a lot more people and reach a lot more people like if you think about it 50 years ago we had to just only work with people in person but now we have the ability to reach you know thousands millions of people by doing Facebook lives by doing YouTube clips by doing podcasts we've got that ability to reach a lot of people and and take our message way further away uh, to way more people that actually need help right so here are five ways that presenting skills can help you grow your business number one they can help you get attention we are in the attention economy where we're all fighting for attention not like look at me look at me but you know, stop and engage with my post because people are scrolling so fast right they're like this you see it in, on public transport and people waiting you know at, at in queues at shops they're scrolling and you literally get like a few seconds to grab people's attention so online is very difficult I'm a huge advocate for for positioning yourself correctly online and doing online marketing you need to but I also advocate not just online but offline strategies combining presenting together with online marketing if you get those two together boom powerful combination so it helps you get attention because if you are willing to put yourself on a platform which most people most of the population are not willing to do because they're scared of it right public speaking is apparently the number one fear so because most of your competitors are not willing to do it you will get the attention because you're actually positioning yourself as someone who is willing to stand out and be outstanding and not just blend in with the crowd and everyone else online right so you get attention there's a, a new study done that shows that we actually need seven hours we need to produce seven hours of content people need to consume seven hours of us before they make a significant buying decision seven hours that's a lot of Facebook posts it's a lot of doing Facebook live videos it's a lot of blogs it's a lot of emails whereas if you run a workshop for one day your seven hours is done it's done in one day so you can get people to sign up to your offers in your programs in a very short period of time by running a workshop and that was how I kind of got started by going out of the one-on-one -on -one model was just running small little seminars at my gym so I just ran them in the empty studio at my gym and just had people come along and I just taught them what I knew I was teaching on nutrition at the time but then when I moved to Sydney I would just hire my local library Glazeville library and had I think I paid $18 an hour and just had people come in and I just taught them stuff and I think they paid like $25 for an evening and I would share great information I'd always get about 15 people come along and so that's where I started out and now I've run over 100 workshops and I've kind of tested and measured the things that really work in business and there there are lots of things that do work there are a lot of things that don't work so I've kind of made a lot of mistakes and that's why I love teaching people this now because there's a lot of things you can do wrong and a lot of people have fear about people not showing up so there's a, a strategies that you need to do to make sure that people come that you get people in the room but it's one of the fastest ways to get people's attention it's really hard to get people's attention unless you have a massive brand or you have a big budget behind you for Facebook ads right so if you're starting out it's a really cheap way to get started fast and get clients fast number two it gives you the ability to connect deeply with people before I was running events before I was presenting I was really stuck behind my laptop and I wasn't spending enough time really getting to know what people wanted and so it was just dealing with one by one by one and I'd also have this kind of comfortable group of clients that I had for years 
I used to have my clients for years, so I wasn't really improving my ability to connect with people and be able to influence large groups of people, all different types of people, because I was kind of stuck in this comfortable one by one model. And I was just very good at just like my very safe little world with my my clients that were one on one. Whereas now I feel like I can talk to so many different types of people. I know how to read an audience. I know how to uh, keep people engaged, and it's just improved my my people skills so much. I never used to be a people person. I remember at my granddad's funeral years ago, I got up and said, "I don't really like people very much. I don't actually." Yeah, it's not many people that I like, but I like my granddad. Like, I can't believe I said that. This is me, I don't know, 10 years ago or more. Uh, I just can't believe that because I love people now. I absolutely love people and presenting's really helped that. And to be successful in business, you have to like people. You have to. It's, it's essential because business is about relationships. Every time you make money, there's a person who's put that money into your account, right? So business is about relationships so that's a great skill to be able to connect deeply with people great to have you on here thanks for the love oh thank you Sangeeta says love your energy I am I'm very hyper I think I need to go to the gym and work it all out <laughs> thank you okay number three three of the the five ways that presenting can help you grow your business out of the many it helps you to be able to influence authentically influence authentically Influence to me is helping people create positive change in their life. And so when you do it ethically and, and, and authentically and genuinely, rather than you know manipulating people to do what they don't wanna do, that's not what influence is about. It's about helping people get what they want, solving their problems for them, you know, actually finding out what they wanna avoid, finding out what they wanna become, what they wanna create, what they wanna reduce, what they wanna get away from, that is influence and actually helping them overcome their fears and their false beliefs. That's part of the skill set of presenters. So a big part of presenting is actually helping people overcome the things that are holding them back from getting what they want. And that's a really important skill that you can develop as a business owner. And one of the fastest ways to do it is to do it from a stage and, or not necessarily a stage, but to a group. You know, you might be on the floor, <laughs> you don't necessarily have to be on a big platform, but to be able to get in front, in front of people. The more I do videos, the more I do workshops, the more my ability to influence improves just by mastering the craft, by doing it and doing it and doing it. And also because I'm doing it, I'm always going to seminars and learning about the craft of influence to get better at it. So that's something that presenting gives you a massive advantage um, in your business. Number four, it helps you to be able to speak with confidence. I don't know about you, but I never used to want to get up and speak in front of people. I never wanted to do Facebook Lives. That was like the freakiest thing ever. I refused to do it for ages until I realized it was here to stay and it wasn't going away. Uh, but I'm so grateful now because now I can confidently speak like the other day I was, at a, uh, I was at an event and they said, right, we're gonna divide the room into four. It was a massive conference room and they divided us into four groups and they said, one of you from each of the four groups is probably about 150 people in the room. One of you is gonna get up on stage. And I just thought, that's me. I wanna get up on stage. Any opportunity to get up on stage to help you know, get closer and closer to that really confident person that I want to be in every situation. So I just put my hand straight up and went on stage and spoke and it was just incredible. You know, a few years back before I had been presenting and running workshops, I wouldn't have done that. So it's really increased my confidence. I used to be super shy, introverted and just not have any confidence at all. I would go red, I would shake, I'd be so nervous. So it's not a talent. Presenting is not a talent. It's training. It's training. I've been trained. Uh, I've practiced and practiced and practiced, and that's how I can now speak in front of lots of people and not get nervous at all. I love it. Number five is it helps you attract your ideal clients. So this is something that I talk about all the time with my clients. If you want to attract your ideal clients, one of the fastest ways to do it is to position yourself as someone who's not afraid, someone who's taking bold action, someone who's willing to do the hard things. And one of the hardest things that 
you will ever overcome is your ability to stand in front of a group and risk being rejected and put on your own event. It's not easy, it's not for everyone. But if you know that you're not just like everyone, that you're not mediocre, that you don't wanna be mediocre, if you know that you wanna be one of those ambitious people that is you know, a one percenter, that's willing to stand up and, and have, a, have something to say and have an opinion, and risk having haters because every entrepreneur who's successful has some haters, doubters, people who do this one on YouTube. If you're willing to do that, then the world is your oyster. You know, presenting is your golden ticket. It really is. So those are the five things. Get attention, connect deeply with people, influence authentically, speak with confidence, and attract your ideal clients. I am really working to influence you on this skill because it has totally changed my life. It has changed who I am as a person and it has completely changed my business. Probably 90 to 95% of my clients all come because I learned how to present. So if you would like to learn how to present, I'm running a workshop this Saturday. It's called How to Grow Your Business with Workshops. It's in Sydney. There's only a few spaces left and because we're coming up, because it's so close, I'm doing a two for one at the moment so you can bring a friend so that you can come and support each other. So if you feel a bit nervous about this whole thing, bring a friend, go through it together. I'm closing the spaces soon, actually by tomorrow, in the next 24 hours, I'll be closing that off so I can print the workbooks and know exactly who's coming. So if you wanna come, if you wanna learn this, this presenting skill, I would love to teach it to you. There's so much I can share. I've invested over $20,000 in learning the craft. I've run over 100 workshops, and in that time, I've made a lot of mistakes that I would love to save you from and help you fast track your ability to attract your clients and really grow a profitable business. So I'll pop the details in the, in the comment below. I'll pop the link in. But in the meantime, just go for that high level of stepping out of your comfort zone where you're one of those people that's committed to just stepping up and what's the word going all in that's that's the word going all in and not holding back because you have a message that the world can benefit from that the world is actually waiting for no one can express it like you and if you don't present it then the world loses it because your unique combination of skills abilities stories experiences they are unique and that's what makes you outstanding. That, that's what differentiates you from the rest of the market. So whether you learn this skill from me or you learn it from someone else, I highly recommend that you learn presenting skills and watch your business transform. Great to see you on here. Matt says, so many ideas coming. Awesome, if I'm getting ideas flowing, that is exactly what I want. Awesome, so nice to see you all on here. Have a beautiful evening. Please PM me if you've got any questions, thoughts, comments, or write them in the comments. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, I will reply to all of your comments uh, individually. Always love hearing from you. Take care, talk to you soon. Bye.